You can now get a 30-day trial to experience The Athletic for free. Visit the link in the description below to try it now. Alorog745. Alorog745 asks, Do you think it's realistic for any non-old firm team to win the Scottish League in the next 10 years or so? JJ Bull. So the last team outside of Celtic or Rangers, the old firm, to win the Scottish Premiership was Aberdeen. And that was in 1985. So I think it's unlikely anyone's going to win it in the next 10 years. And I can show you with some data to do with money uh, why that's definitely the case. There's an economic model, there's a book called Soccernomics, and in that they say that the team who spends the most on wages is most likely to win. That makes sense. But it's not to do with transfers, how much you spend on transfers. It's the team who spends the most on wages tends to win. Now if we look at the, uh, this is the data I got for the 2019-20 season in the Scottish Premiership, and this ended early because of this thing called coronavirus you may have heard of before. But this is, the, this is how the, the wages are split, and as you can see, it's slightly imbalanced. Celtic won the league this year, Rangers finished second, and uh, Motherwell, way down here, they finished third on a points per game basis, Aberdeen finished fourth, they were expected to finish third but didn't. And as you can see, this is quite a big difference, right? But if we compare this to the English Premier League, we can see where the sort of differences come in. This is the English Premier League from the same season. That's Celtic for comparison, obviously a lot smaller, but that's not what we're talking about. Now, if we consider like the old firm to be the teams most likely to always win the league or expected to, you can call it in England kind of the top five. So it's Man City, Man United, Liverpool, Arsenal, Chelsea. I'd say they're the top five. Um, Spurs maybe just outside it, right, is possibly the sixth. Now, as you can see here, Liverpool won the league this year, right, this is them here. This is in dollars, but we converted it into pounds, don't worry about it too much. Compared to Leicester, who finished outside the top four, they finished fifth, which is very good for them to do that. This is them here. That looks, that looks like a big, that looks like a big jump, right? So you think, well, well done Leicester, they've done really well to do that. But if we do this, so Leicester finished fifth. The difference in average wages to first, which is Liverpool, um, it was 1.65, so for every pound that Leicester spent, Liverpool spent £1.65 on wages. Now, Motherwell finished third, the difference in average wages to first is 15.1. This is more, quite a lot more. We can then take that and look at Liverpool's average annual wage per player in 2019-20, right? So they spent £5.1 million per player on average, so that's the average salary per player. But if Liverpool were the equivalent of Celtic, and Leicester with equivalent of Motherwell. This would be like, instead of Liverpool paying 5.1 million per player, they instead spent 46.7 million pounds per player. This is more. And this is what it would look like. Which is quite a lot, as you can see there. Now, that's sort of where we're looking at in Scotland. So the Premier League looks like this. The Scottish Premiership looks like this. Um, these numbers may look a bit closer than you think when you compare it to like over here, but it's not, it's miles away. Now, how about we think about just transfers? So sure enough, the model doesn't say that the more you spend on transfers, you're guaranteed to win. That's not how it works, it's the wages. But if we look at transfers, what we find is uh, something else very interesting. Now, this is from this season, the 2021-22 season, right? The total spent by non-old firm teams, so teams who aren't Rangers and Celtic, is 1.8 million. And that's actually quite a lot in uh, the Scottish Premiership. That's quite a lot this season. Aberdeen spent quite a bit of money, for example, right? Now, um, the total spent by the old firm in the 21-22 season, 26.5 million pounds. This is quite a lot more. So if we look, for example, Aberdeen's transfer spend, and they are most likely to challenge Celtic or Rangers outside of the old firm. This is the team most likely to do it. Aberdeen spent £560,000 uh, this, this year, and Celtic spent £24.5 million. That is a multiplier of 43.75. So it's quite big, it's quite a lot more money. Let's compare it to something that more people know about. Now Man United, um, they finished second last season, right? Spurs, the team most likely to finish outside of the old firms of Man United and Liverpool and City and Chelsea, whatever you want to call them, right? So Spurs' transfer spend is £86.3 million. Now, if that were the equivalent, and Spurs, like uh, like Aberdeen, were trying to get in to finish second even, and uh, Man United, who did finish second, so this is £86.3 million times 43.75, they instead spent £3.7 billion. This is more. <laughs> so you can kind of see the problem here. This is a lot more money than this, and this is what Aberdeen would be like, trying to challenge 
Celtic, who finished second. So do I think it's realistic that in the next 10 years or so, a team non outside of the old firm will win the Scottish Premiership? No, I don't think anyone will ever win it because I think it's completely broken. <laughs> what a great video. Hi, I'm JJ Bull. You may recognize me from the video that you just watched. Well, let me tell you why I'm here in my living room. Uh, this was a clip from the TIFO Football Show, which is a new show we're going to be running on TIFO IRL, full of clips uh, telling you all things about football that you ask us. You can leave us questions in the comments or on Twitter, anywhere you like really, and then we get to answer them for you. That's the whole point of it. So please leave your comments below. That'd be very useful. And um, make sure you subscribe to TIFO IRL and then you hit the bell notification button. It means that every time we upload something, you get notified. That would be help everyone. And then like the video. I may already have said that, but do it again. Anyway, tell everyone else to, to like it. That'd be great. So yeah, we'll see you in the TIFO football show. It's out on Mondays. Uh, that's the plan just now anyway. It'll be great. See you then. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you do enjoy TIFO, then you'll probably also like The Athletic. If you watch our tactics videos, you should go and read Michael Cox. If you're into data, read Mark Carey. And if you're into transfers, it's David Ornstein. Plus, if you're a fan of any Premier League team, then there's a journalist dedicated to you, and you can try it for free for 30 days now by clicking the link in the description.